my name is Chatterack, and welcome to another little nice vlog session. I, uh, I, I always like doing these vlogs, because, uh, you know, I'm not, we're not, it's not, it's a, I don't have a very big channel, but I kind of enjoy it, because through, with doing these little vlogs, it's really a nice window of opportunity for, for me to really talk to you guys. I mean, even if it was a bigger channel, it's still, I, I really like doing vlogs. I, uh. I kind of wish I could do them more, but you know, like I said, being a, a you know, a novice channel and you know whatnot, it's just hard to do them because it's really hard to really come up with the good things to say a lot. Um, but I do like to do them. Uh, I, 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 like I said, it's a nice way, not just for me to like talk to you guys, but for me to really express myself. And the problem with doing vlogs with not really having a lot to do is that. <laughs> I find they get kind of repetitive, um, cause you know, like a lot of like other people will do like, you know, like reading your comments, reading your tweets, reading, you know, whatever the case may be. And being that we don't really have that kind of following for Chatterack, it's hard to do that. <laughs> I could do a reading your comments and it would literally be like every single comment I've ever had. <laughs> so, I mean, but I do really like how the channel is growing and developing. I love it. You know, um, I started doing the Five Nights at Freddy series since my last um, channel update, and I'd like to do a, you know a shout out to uh, uh, Mike. You know who you are. Uh, he's been very active with the channel, and I love it. Um, same thing with um, my boy Daniel Son. If you guys have not followed Daniel Son or you don't know what his channel is about, I highly recommend you check him out. I'll put a there'll be a link to his YouTube account. In the description of this video he's a really awesome guy he does really cool videos and um, he's actually been doing some uh, guitar covers if you're into that as well um, he's been a very good help with doing my channel so far um, and there's lots of other people who've been you know doing some comments here and there since I've started the channel and I really appreciate it I just you know I want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart just because that's important to me because you know like I started watching YouTube back in December of 2014 and if I looked back on it now I would have never ever thought that I'd be doing it now and I love the fact that I started I really really do it, it really has done a lot to me because I really want to do good with this channel not 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 just like as like me playing games and talking you know <laughs> acting like a you know a dungus on cam and whatever the, you know I really want to do good because uh, there, there are a lot of people out there that need some kind of good positive vibe to be brought into their life for them. I, uh, I was on Instagram the other earlier today actually and um, so not not today as in like the video being posted but like me actually recording this and um, it was just like a simple picture of like you know like I, I forget who it was actually. <laughs> But, you know, I, I just happened to read the comments because, it, you know, they had, it, it was a successful account or whatever. And I was just kind of, I was so, like, I was depressed and down, just downright kind of, like, just sad with the comments on there. Because it was the kind of thing, you know, where it was, like, a nice getaway picture, like, of a couple. It was for, like, their, like, anniversary or whatever it was. And, um... The, the bullying I saw on just one person's comment was just, it, it hurt, it really upset me. It really upset me very bad. And I, I hate that. I absolutely can't stand that. You know, and it's hard to differentiate bullying with trolling. That, that, that is something that I think is difficult to do. But if you're going to bully, I just don't think there's any, any kind of, respect for that i i don't i don't think so I, I just i like one of the things that really inspired me to do this channel one of the first videos i saw because like if you've been watching my vlogs by now you know the two youtubers i hold in the highest regard are jack guy's channel and markiplier's channel to me like those are my two favorite youtubers of all time and i really respect them and i love their channels and they inspire me to do Bet bigger and better things myself and the, some of the first videos I ever saw them do was like you know games that their fans had made 
and the stories you hear from these fans that they make because like, obviously there's going to be like you know like fun here and like your memories here and you know like all that kind of stuff but like i really really the message that they give you at the end is always just like tearjerker because it, it reminds them you know like what kind of people watch their channel and what kind of people really respond to the channels that they do and that's something i aspire to like i want my channel to look be looked at and just you know if anyone's ever having a bad day like i want my channel to be like that one day where i can really inspire other people to do awesome things and I, you, you know i just I, I just really want to i want to use this not only as a form of expression for myself i want to use it as a force of good i really would like i don't know if like <laughs> i don't know if i would say like i want this to be like you know a game changer like for the world but for every person that watches my channel I, I want them to be able to leave with like a chuckle if i can get one chuckle for one video it's a good video to me that, that is the bottom line there's something you hear just you have to be up to here sorry that was my shadow the bow for the video <laughs> i uh so yeah you know so i just got back from dinner with my family um we took my grandmother out to dinner my it was my brother my basically other brother he's my brother's friend that lives at the house with us and um you know my mom and her boyfriend so it was a really nice night and i just was really that gave me the good vibes i needed to do the vlog and um that's kind of why i brought up the good vibe thing because oh my gosh look at my hair it's awful it's all over the place <laughs> um but no like i really want to, i really want people to just like if they visit the channel even if it's like you know not their style game or whatever because you're not gonna have a game that everybody likes you know um since I started my channel, I actually got my first dislike on a video, and I wasn't upset by it at any means, because I know, A, there's you're not going to be able to please everybody with every single video you do, but B, it also, you know, it kind of gave me time to kind of come back down, because, like, getting the first dislike is important for growth, because anytime you do something wrong, or you don't, you know, anytime you just don't do something correctly, you build off of it, and you, you, you know, you, it makes you stronger as a person, whether it's sports, you know, doing YouTube, playing video games by yourself in general. It's always good to have, you know. It's always good to come up to conflict and bumps in the road just because you learn how to kind of, you know, go get around it and do your own thing. So I wasn't, you know, upset by it by any means. It actually just made me want to do more videos because I, I want to – I really want to make a nice family, you know, through the channel. And I know this is rhetoric by this point because, like I said, my vlogs kind of seem like they are kind of <laughs> – like each kind of hitting the same marks because there's not a lot really for me to talk about as far as like i don't know <laughs> i'm still very new to this you know um actually by the time this goes up we would have hit 150 videos which to me is awesome because i just like i said i never expected me to even do this kind of stuff at this point and i really am glad i did i think it's oh indigestion <laughs> But I really think it's really made me express myself more. Because, like, like I said, like, you know, I don't have a lot of, like, friends left. Like, obviously, I mean, I have lots of friends. It's just now that people are growing up, it's like, you know, someone's moved here. Someone's gone there. Someone's, like, you know, studying here. And, it, and it's hard to really get that interaction anymore. And, like, when I, you know when I start and turn, turn on my computer for the day and I go onto YouTube and I see that little bell sitting up in the corner where the notifications are at and someone's commented on a video it just instantly fills my day it, I love it it just is so it's such a great feeling and I absolutely just love it and I really like I just love the interaction with people even on other people's channels like if I comment on like someone's video and someone starts talking to me it just fills me with joy and I, I want I want more people to experience that like you know like I said even if it is something silly and just completely you know like <laughs> like ridiculous but it, like, as long as it brings some kind of chuckle to someone's face I I, I, I I personally that's the satisfaction I get so I just I would love for this channel to one day be just like a source of good and but being that we've talked a little bit about too much emotions, I'd like to kind of talk about the way the channel is going. Because um, I've been doing a lot more horror games lately. 
now that I've kind of gotten a knack for it, like, you know, finished The Walking Dead Season 1, and we've been working on The Walking Dead Season 2, but then I also started doing Five Nights at Freddy's and Outlast, and I've really been enjoying Five Nights at Freddy's. I really have. Because there's some people, a lot of people tell me that, like, you either like playing Five Nights at Freddy's or you like watching people play Five Nights at Freddy's. I love both because <laughs> I've watched a couple videos here and there of doing it, but I l really enjoy playing it. Um, same thing with Outlast. Like, there's just that, like, sensation you get, like, built up inside of you of, like, when you're like, okay, all right, I, uh, I, I know someone's coming. Ah! <laughs> and I love that. It's, it's, it's been really fun It really... I've been really enjoying kind of figuring out the stories of games because like a lot of times I've seen games get critiqued on how like oh you know like they didn't get like I, I like they, it was a really bland story but then you have games like Five Nights where the story is so small and the details are so tiny that it's like I, I've been reading some crazy game theories on the first game and <laughs> the fact that you can build stuff like that is awesome and like I really like how the like where the channel is going. Um, I, I kind of enjoy having a versatile, like, selection of things to do. Um, I, I kind of want to get into more, like, web browser games. Like, I've been thinking about starting a series of, like, you know, I really want to try um, Yandere Simulator. That looks like a really fun game, even though it is incredibly early in its build. Um, another, there's, there's just, like, a few I've done. Like, right, because, like, I still do Happy Wheels very actively. I like, to, I try, I try to hit for doing them once a week. I feel like that's, like, a nice little variety of, like, getting levels. Because, like, it has a crazy good following of people that constantly are creating content and it getting rated high and being able to play it. Because, like, I try not to do, like, YouTuber-specific, like, games. Like, I'll play them on my own, but as far as, like, doing them for the channel, like, I, I, I try to stay away from other YouTuber stuff just because it's, like, their stuff. So I don't want to, like, play their stuff. I just, that's... Because, like... It's hard when you're starting YouTube to not do things exactly like the YouTubers you like. And I'm speaking from experience because, you know, you'll be recording and you'll be sitting there gaming. And you're just like, oh, yeah. You just kind of, you start to emulate the people you like because, you know, you want to aspire to be like them. So, and it's incredibly hard. It really is. Like, I'm starting to kind of get the idea of, like, doing the things that, more like the chatterack way than necessarily like oh let's do like him and oh let's do like him so and it is hard it's very difficult to do so but i, I like how the channel is progressing like i have a list of games that i currently own that i'm starting to do just like stuff on like i started doing um city skylines um like i, I want to start playing um one finger death punch like and there's a lot, and there's more scary games I want to play, but there's also more games like Subnautica, like I want to play. Like I want to start a series on the forest, and I've been thinking about doing Stranded Deep as well. But I really wanted to do Stranded Deep earlier, but because I did Subnautica first, I didn't want to do two like water style games at the same time, just because it would have been too like confusing for people that aren't familiar with the games. I think. But then there's just some more variety of games I don't have yet that I want to try out. Like um, you know, there's just like all kinds of things. And there's lots of cool games coming out as well. There's a couple of things I funded on Kickstarter. Um, like, I, I really want to... Uh, I missed out on the Kickstarter campaign, but, like, The Flame and the Flood looked awesome. I really want to try that out. I um, I actually funded a uh, ukulele, which is, like, the spiritual successor to, like, Banjo-Kazooie, which is, looks awesome, by the way. If you haven't checked that out, you should really, you know, go do that as well. And, um... Little Devil Inside is another project I funded, which is awesome. And I'm really glad that, like, games like that are starting to really pop up here and there. Oh, and Perception. Perception was the other game I funded. That's an awesome game. If you guys don't know what Perception is, Google it right after this video is over, because you will love it. It looks amazing. <laughs> so, I mean, like I said, like it, I, I do like where things are going. People are starting to comment on videos. People are starting to like videos, which... I'm super happy about because I, I really don't like I'm not like it's hard being a young youtuber <laughs> because it's like you want to be active you want to have people going like right from the get-go and it just you know it doesn't happen like that because you have to build you have to really and I, and I, and I try to stay as modest as I can like I know I'm not any kind of big shot you know 
we just hit 20 subscribers on the channel, which I am super happy about, so high five. And um, I'm so glad. And actually, a good friend of mine who basically is like an admin for the channel, um, we were talking about how the channel has been going and things. Because there's basically, to me, there's three people involved with my channel. I am the primary person. Like, I, you know, I record the videos. I do what I pass off as editing, <laughs> which is awful. <laughs> but then there's a good, like, one of my best friends from growing up really helps me, you know, pick games out, kind of, like, figure out themes for what we're doing. And, you know, he'll suggest things to me that he thinks, like, are going well and, like, you know, other YouTubers that, like, he thinks I should, like, you know, check out and see, like, exactly what style I should, like, incorporate into the channel and whatnot. And then there's my brother, who has been a phenomenal, phenomenal help to the channel. And I, one thing I am grateful for the channel, even if I stop doing YouTube tomorrow, is that I really feel like the channel has really connected me with my brother. I, I mentioned it into a video, like a, like a, like a couple days ago. Uh, I forget which video it was. I, I don't know. I forget. <laughs> That's not the point. But I really think since I decided to start doing a channel, because I really, I really started like thinking about doing the channel back in like April or so and my brother was the first person to really go co cuz he my brother doesn't like video games he's not like me we're totally <laughs> there's tomatoes and then there's potatoes i am a potato and he is a tomato for sure although now that i think about it i should be the tomato being that i'm wearing red <laughs> but um so you know it's just like I just if Ch like if my brother is watching this right now, I really just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being such a big help for the channel. Same thing with my best friend. I'm not trying to put names out there just because it's probably not what they want. <laughs> um, but they, I just want to thank you guys for your support every single day, and to the 20 subscribers that are on board with the channel, to all the people who like the Facebook page, people who are following me on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for the support. It does mean the world to me to wake up every single day and see you guys, you know, watching videos, liking the videos, commenting on the videos. It just, that's the kind of family I wanted to build, to really, you know, talk to people every single day about stuff. But the video is kind of going on long now. Um, I couldn't really see how long we were going because of where my camera is right now. <laughs> but, so I, I don't want to talk for too long just because I, I, I like these to be kind of, not too short, but not too long either. So... I like where the channel's going. I like how the things are moving. My goal for the end of the year is I want to have 50 subscribers. That's my goal. So it's pretty much September now. There's about you know a week and a half left in August. We got 20 subscribers. So if I can get at least, you know, I, I don't know how December will go, but the way I'm looking at it is I, I can get 10 subscribers for each month. That will be awesome. So if I can get to 50 subscribers, by the end of the year, I will be so happy. It will be an amazing thing for me to accomplish. But like I said, I've been talking on for too long now. So I just want to thank you guys again for watching um, and for supporting every video I do, supporting the channel and its growth. You guys are amazing. I wouldn't be doing half the stuff I did if I didn't have the kind of support with people like you. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you guys want to like it, leave a like, leave a comment. And as always, I will check you guys out and play games with you on the next time video thing stuff messing up at the very end is all the things I do. But so thank you guys again, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!